what sector do you think is uh overhyped in 2023 and um will correct in 2024 um honestly i think the ai space is overhyped ding, ding, ding. Um, in a large language model um from the startup perspective that got funding from either angels or vc i think we've seen the best of breed so far um of course open ai dominant anthropic dominant but i'm seeing every company saying that they are some kind of ai iteration to get funded and i think we've seen the best of breed perform and get funded some of course will, will get acquired but i think if a company is connecting itself or a publicly traded company is connecting itself to a large language model to boost earnings or revenue i don't think that's going to work in 2024 um there needs to be a new innovation i'm surprised apple hasn't uh dove more into the large language models for siri or hasn't acquired something in a space but i don't think it will have the same impact that it will in 2024 as it did in 2023 nvidia of course is going to do great amd will of course do great um they did great to, today as well but if a company let's say a healthcare company is tying themselves to ai or llms for 2024 i think that um boat has left the dock yeah i'm with you that's why i said ding uh, i think that spot on um and I feel like it's been priced in, right? If if, if AI is, is part of the business model, um, or it wasn't in 2023, it, it's it been priced in until 2024. And so it's gonna be those leaders that are gonna continue to lead. We saw NVIDIA hit a, uh, an all-time high today. They announced yes. three, three new graphic cards. I mean, AMD was on fire today. Um, they're trying to fight back. Yep. They're, they're there, right? They're, they're fine. Like, hey, we, ha we have a competitor that's gonna be more affordable for your company, great strategy. Um, so those leaders are gonna continue to lead. Uh, but the, the other companies that are trying to play catch up, it's gonna be tough, it's gonna be tough. Um, yeah. and, and you know, when, when people see a space like AI inside of the, the, the tech sector, it's like, this is our new way to make money. Um, and a lot of times people get caught in that and that's what happens when we hear the word bubble. Everybody tries to crowd in because there's money to be made. Not a lot of great products are made inside of that. but few will survive and, and yeah. right now we I, I think we know who the, the leaders at the forefront are, are going to be um so they'll continue to thrive but i, I think i think you're spot on with, with ai being that that sector back to being on the same page yeah there we go there we yeah. go yeah gather Pretty my chill. thoughts serenity and zen yes that's, that's teamwork right there all yeah. right um so yeah the moment the moment that everybody's been waiting for so bitcoin um is on fire right now crossed over forty seven thousand today um mm -hmm. so you know, everybody's back on the Bitcoin train, back on the crypto train. Uh, talks to the ETF getting approved within the next week or so. So Bitcoin, crypto. Yes. Will, will Bitcoin hit 100,000 this year? And what is the future for cryptocurrency in 2024? Uh, Bitcoin community, I want no smoke. Crypto community, love y'all dearly. Um, I have nothing bad to say. Um, will it hit 100 grand? I don't believe so but i think it can have a case to push towards like sixty five thousand easily the etf case i don't know if the etfs will get approved by next week but if they do um it'll be a strong push to the upside so we we're currently at like almost forty seven thousand. um so when i said to buy in at twenty nine thousand, twenty thousand for the record it was a good time to buy um if i made you money please put yes in chat continue to hold um but performance wise bitcoin has beat everything on a stock market hold i talked about this in ghana hold everything for a seven to eight year period you'll be good um it can, if it can get through sixty one thousand, and we want to please write this down you want a gradual increase we don't want a 15 percent jump or 12 percent jump like just a steady gain at three to eight percent it's great because then you don't want a whole bunch of short sellers coming in or people taking profit or people getting too afraid so if it's a smooth push to the upside um, I think we can get into like the the high sixties and be okay. Uh, twenty twenty five, we should clear a hundred grand um, on Bitcoin though. So. Do you, do you think the the appreciation as we've seen is attributed to the pending uh, ETF approval? Absolutely. To say Wednesday it could happen, um, or is this another one of these? And we've seen this in in the, the crypto space, especially with Bitcoin, where We've seen a price go up on speculation of news and then that news doesn't happen and then this process gets delayed for another six months and you know some of the whales start taking a little bit of the profit 
I, I think it's different because for sure, BlackRock is probably going to be like the preeminent player in the ETF space with the uh, Bitcoin ETF. So it's going to come. This is a sure thing. Like it wasn't like before when people were speculating if it was going to have value or when JP Morgan was lying about buying it or saying it was of no value than they were buying it in Europe. This is going to happen. So we're just waiting for the announcement. Um, so if it's a sell off, it'll be small. But I think anyone who's already in it, you should continue to hold. Um, the next five or six years should be absolutely incredible. And the second most important thing, people want bigger returns. Mm -hmm. um, as much as flack I may have gave, given Kathy when I was talking about her strategy and how they attacked it, one thing that she did make clear to the larger public is people don't want 7 to 12% returns. If you can get me 16 to 30%, great. And depending on when you can get into Bitcoin, you can get that in a week or a month. Um so I think you should definitely hold on to this. And if you look from, from that run from 2020, when it was that five grand and some change, if you've held from then to be up almost 10x is amazing. So continue to hold for the long term. Um, but this is a sure bet for sure. And I definitely want, I wonder how much pressure this is going to put in the reallocation of the S&P 500 to perform even better if this ETF gets approved. Because if I have to pick between, let's say I have 15 grand, to put into an ETF. Would I rather put it in a SPY or a Bitcoin ETF? The outflows of S&P could be higher than we expect and go mm -hmm. into the, the Bitcoin ETF because we want to hire multiple. And we'll finally have some safety in terms of like certain pockets where institutions will buy to keep support levels pretty high. Um, so I'm interested to see how that war plays out over the next two or three years. So BlackRock, Spider, they could all potentially have their own Bitcoin ETFs. But it's the 80 20 rule like 80% of money is going to flow into 20. Then you have the 95 5 rule. BlackRock, JP Morgan, State Street, the big players are going to be the ones who end up with the majority of money under management um, with this ETF. So, okay. Yep. Hold on for dear life. Yeah. Investing is easy, man. If you hold for the long term and stop the number one rule, please write this down to 2024. Stop deviating for the next decade. Yeah, I wonder what, what, what people are even now with with all the confusion in 2023 with uh, cryptocurrency platforms. Is it Coinbase is still the safest, right? Are people still using Binance or you know, they, there's all these these other the, these sources. I wonder what now, especially with what we're seeing with Bitcoin's going as people are trying to get reallocated with that space. Is the influx? I'd have to look into it. Is the influx going to Coinbase or is it going to another platform? Be interesting to see that, that's a good that's a good one yeah apple if you need an idea of something to infiltrate yeah somebody's got to make the money absolutely hmm. all right um but for everyone in the comments do you think bitcoin will go to a hundred thousand this year or will it be 2025 20,